Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is another process video for Shimmers Paints where you can get something for free if you mention my name and then I'll give you a little bit more. So, what I decided to do off camera was because since I have to do this not only on the Shimmers Design Team website for the educational team, obviously I'm doing it on mine. There are two products that I used, which was putting on the glitz and whitey tidy that is um, no longer available for the shop. So I did those off camera. And what I did was is that I took two stencils and I took through actually three. One of them is already on there that you're seeing that I'm working with to make it as a sun rays. And then the other two stencils are the unicorn stencil that is from Echo Park. And then I'm using the teen spirit from Echo Park right here. And they came out with a star one. And that's what I'm using here as well. And so what I'm doing is, is that I'm taking four different colors. And our goal and our challenge for this month was to use colors that we've never used before. Or that sit in our stash. And I have two colors that I pulled out. One was a hint of mint. And then the other one is heavy metal. Now the heavy metal is a silver-ish color one that I use at the, at the end for... Splatters, which is like a silver-based, um, I guess, color. And then the hint of mint is a spritz. Now, what I added with it, which is what I'm spraying right there, is Snow Wayman, which is a Vibes, a Princess, which is Vibes, and then um, Sweetheart, which is a Vibe as well. The Princess is the purple, and this one that I'm spraying right here is the Sweetheart. Now, I don't use these colors all that often except for um, Snow Wayman. Now, that one I'm getting ready to actually make a, another purchase for because I'm almost out. Now, these do actually sit in my collection because they're really bright. And just because I have a bright, bubbly daughter, I don't always gravitate to these. That I do know. So, make sure that you go out. The whole challenge of this is for you to go and get out some colors that you normally don't use and use them up. So the last thing that I do with this background is I am cutting off where the stencil ends because I'm doing a square within the square within the square. And you will see how this works out when I get done. I do clean off the stencil, some of the stuff that's on there, not a big deal. I had to let this dry. And here I'm pulling it off and I absolutely love how that turns out. Isn't that amazing? So then I went in with my baby's breath and I sprayed the heck out of that on there to give it more of a shimmer to it. Not that it already has any shimmer, but I add more to it. So here I am, I'm putting this down and I do distress it and then I distress it again. Um, I then went and added, uh, took some more off of it so that I could add this black piece to it. I just love how this turns out because I love that I have um, a square within a square within a square. So I think it works really well for it because I really like the fact that I have this black showing through because I think it really draws your attention to the layout in itself. Because I, the goofball, I'm like looking at this layout, looking at this layout and realizing that after I took all of the photos, I have no title to it. So I'm like, eh. It's her soccer. Not everyone has to have a title, right? Because me, the goofball, I forgot about it. So it looks kind of bland, but it's okay because it goes in with my soccer stuff and her soccer layout. This is one with the shades. She's standing on the soccer field, making it look like I'm uh, making herself look like she's all that and a you know bag of potatoes when some days she's really not because she's the imperfect little daughter that I know but it works out wonderful I love how this layering piece goes I love this collection it works really well to her style and her technique so I'm just now placing down all of the colors that I could get for this particular um, paper. I just wanted to add some good old color and just go to tone on it. Now, I do... What am I doing? Uh, I must have been watching... I do know that I was watching the blacklist while I was filming this. And I'm probably watching that and finishing that out. Normally, how that goes. 
So now I'm just going through everything and making sure that it all looks good and making sure that I love all the colors. And what I did was is that I tried to match the colors that I put for my mist onto this layout. And I think that it turns out perfectly. So you can take a sunrise cut file like I did, turn it into a stencil like I did, and then use it like this. I love how it gets really, really dark and then it spreads out and it fades out. Cause isn't that how a sunrise normally is? And so yeah, I really love how this turns out. So my foam, this is still some foam from while I was still stationed in Germany when I couldn't get the sticky back. So I have to glue everything down like I am here instead of pulling it off and sticking it to something. But that's okay. It is what it is. So make sure that you go check out the shimmers. Now what you can do with the shimmers paints is, is that when you order from shimmers, mention my name and then you can get a little bit of something freebie from there. Now, when I was not part of the design team, I was getting freebies left and right. Excuse me. Because every time I order, I would always put Missy Wooden down because she's, you know, my fave. If you guys don't know, you guys will know. Um, and so I would always get something a little bit free. And it was always a small little product of one of the products that they have. I've gotten quite a bit of stuff from them. And I absolutely love their products. It's my go-to for everything. And I'm just adding little bits. I'm trying to stay monochromatic to the colors that I'm picking. Just because of they match really, really, really well. And it looks and it turns out really, really well. I just, oh, I just love how this turns out. So I added fidget tools. I added unicorns. I added everything to it. Because not only is she one of my you know, aggressive little girl on the field. She has grown from the spring, which is what this one is, to the fall, which we just ended. Honestly, she was tired of of having her team lose all the time, so she asked to be goalie, and it was actually the right place for her. She was very, 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 very aggressive. And it works out well because as a keeper or as a goalie, you don't let anything get past you. And so here she was more of the center. She would more run and all of that kind of stuff instead. So it, yeah, it was, it was a lot for her to switch, but she loved it because there for a while, coach was making them switch through. There was three of them that would do goalie and she would switch between them so she was always midfielder and then she was goalie and then finally towards the end of the season I think coach finally figured out that leave Kaylin at goalie that's where she should be at and then we finally started winning games including going to the championship game so it actually worked out really well in the end we may have lost the championship game because the three goals that got past her had nothing to do with the fact that, that they were easy and simple goals behind past her. It was truly, honestly, the fact that two of them were too high and one of them scared her a little bit because it was, um, it hit her arm and then it rolled in because it scared her because of the smack sound that it happened. So ultimately, at the end of the day, those goals were tough goals for her to catch. And, um, yes, it made her sad and mad, but it wasn't like they were easy goals that, got, like, got past her. So, yeah, so now I'm just embellishing the rest of it. Um, make sure that you go, um, like and subscribe to their channel. Go ahead and check the Facebook group. I absolutely love the group. They're amazing there. Also, make sure that you go and check, um, my website, obviously, my um, YouTube channel. If you love and love what you see, I would be so happy to have you. And yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I'm just finishing up. I do round out with the heavy metal, which is another shimmers paints that I'm not using all that often, which is becoming my new silver one. I really love how that is. So you'll see me finish up these little pieces along with getting out that the still shots are coming up. 
I am going to leave you with me finishing up this little bit of pieces. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!